Welcome to Hisuju, Devouring Chaos. As far as our opening hand goes, yeah, we'll keep on this one. I like it. We've got a... Uh, We've got Ancient Tomb into Arcane Signet into Wheel of Fortune. And I, I do like that. So maybe we rip into a few more lands. But yeah, if things go south, it starts drawing into a land. I, I do like the uh, I like the Ancient Tomb and Arcane Signet line of play. So And playing against Marath, uh, Will of the Wild, which we have not played, with, uh, played against uh, in a very long time. So let's go lead off with Ancient Tomb. Let's take two. Let's get the party started. And let's get down Arcane Signet. And then uh, anything else. Uh, we will pass the turn over to our opponent. But yes, welcome to to, uh, to some Hisuju, Devouring Chaos. We've got some kind of red-black, not really aristocrats, but red-black affinity, which uh, which is a lot of fun. So let's go and cover Hisuju. So we're playing Hisuju. Uh, one black mana activation, sacrifice a, uh, sacrifice a creature, scry and scurry for two, a little bit of fever for two. Then, for a three mana activation, exile the top card of your library. You may play that card this turn. Uh, when you exile a non-land card this way, Hisuju deals damage equal to the exile's card's mana value to any target. If we can set up a real nice affinity, high converted mana cost affinity on top of the library, that's what we're going for. All right, so we don't run into the land for the turn, and uh, Dockside's not that good. So let's just go and go for uh, Wheel of Fortune. Um, we had a good opening hand, but uh, we are A-OK -okay with uh, getting a fresh grip right now. All right, and we run into a bunch of lands. Okay. Um, <laughs> Uh, the good thing is we do have Mortuary uh, Mire, so we can kind of set that up. Uh, let's go ahead and get down uh, Marsh Flats. Uh, let's go and crack Marsh Flats, and let's get this popped out. Let's go and grab ourselves a Smoldering Marsh. I think that works out. Actually, we'll grab Mire, because that's going to come into play tap no matter what. And then uh, anything else, uh, we will pass the turn to our opponent. Playing against Marath, Will of the Wild. Uh, Marath enters the battlefield uh, with a number of plus one counters on it, equal to the amount of mana spent to cast it. Then for an X activation, remove X plus one counters from Marath, and uh, we'll cover that in just a second. So we are looking at going for Hisuju, and uh, I think that sounds like a pretty good plan. So let's go and go for Hisuju. Let, let's get the uh, let's get Dragon Skull Summit down, because that comes into play untapped, and let's go for Hisuju. Okay, so we got Hisuju onto the battlefield, and then uh, anything else? No, that looks like it. We're going to go and pass the turn. Now, so we do have Mortuary Mire, and that's going to allow us to put something on top of our library. We can start dealing some damage to our opponent. Um, we do have um, Combustible Gear Hulk, so that's something we can put on top to deal that 6 damage. Um, unfortunately, if we end up going for that activation, that 3-man activation, we're not going to be able to cast it just yet. So if we want to end up using Mire to do that, we certainly can. Um, we do have two fetch lands. We at least have one swamp fetch land in Bloodstained Mire. And so with this Bloodstained Mire, that's going to allow us to... Um, there's one more land. I think it's like Witch's Cottage or something like that. Um, man, look at that Wheel of Fortune for our opponent. It worked out a lot better for them. <laughs> They've got some good stuff moving. Uh, but yeah, so we can put some damage on top of our library. But I'd, I'd like to get a little bit ahead on mana to where we could potentially uh, cast the stuff that we're going for. So let's see what we draw to. Draw to Noxious Gear Hulk. Okay, that's good. We'll take it. So let's go and lead off with uh, Badlands. And let's go and push in for... Push in for four. I think I like that. All right, so we're going to go and swing in. Uh, knock our opponent down to 34. That'll be four total commander damage. And we are looking at one, two, three, four, five, six. We are looking at six total mana. Um, if we wanted to go for something like Worm Coil on top with Mire and just straight up cast it and not worry about the damage, we can certainly do that. And that would get our affinity count going up too. Um, I think at this point, we just passed the turn. If we can cash in Noxious Gear Hulk on Marath, I think that might be a good thing. So, uh, anything else, pass it over there. But yes, with the uh, last part of Marath, um, for the X activated ability, remove X plus one counters from Marath. Choose one. Uh, put X plus one counters on target creature. Um, Marath deals X damage to any target. And then, where are you, Marath? Uh, create an uh, XX green elemental creature token. And all of those, X cannot be zero. So, that is something to kind of keep in mind. Um, they do have one mana available to go for the uh, the damage. So we'll see how we're going to set this up. But at the very least for next turn, we've got Noxious Gear Hulk to pop their commander. Do we want to do that? We can get rid of uh, Miri if we want to. Yeah, let's see how we want to set this up. Ooh, Field of the Dead. That's going to give us some bodies on the battlefield. Yeah, let's go for that because we've got enough mana for Noxious Gear Hulk. So let's drop in Field of the Dead. So they will have a lot of counters on Marath if we go for Noxious Gear Hulk on Marath. I'd like to get something on the battlefield this turn, so let's go for Noxious Gear Hulk. 
And we're setting up pretty nice for a Field of the Dead line of play to get these zombies on the battlefield. And that'll make Hisuju very, very happy. So let's go and target Mirren on this. Um, what we're trying to do is get our opponent to spend mana to use Mara's ability. Yes, we definitely want to use that. And then do we want to push in... Actually, we'll hold on. Because if we deal that damage and then go for the one damage, then... Well, actually, no. If we swing in... Either way, it's going to take care of it. They can put one damage on there if they want to, but then it'll only be two damage. Yeah, I, I, we should be able to swing it with this Suju. So let's go and push him for four. Because no matter how they do that, I, I don't think they'll be able to deal that one damage. All right, so we're going to drop him down to 30. That's eight total commander damage. And then uh, kick it over to our opponent's side. But yes, trying to set up, instead of going for Noxious Gear Hulk on Marath, um, I'd like for them to potentially just um, uh, use the uh, activated ability... <laughs> to uh, get rid of the counters and then have to recast it, but they've got Divine Visitation out there. And, uh, okay, that's some good stuff right there. All right, so let's see what we've drawn to for the turn. As we run into Knight's Whisper, um, we're looking at one, two, three, four, five, and that's gonna be six with the land drop. Let's drop in Wooded Foothills. And let's go Knight's Whisper, just to kind of see what we can kind of draw into. Okay, Persistent Specimen and then Talisman. So we are getting our um, artifact count going up. So let's go Ancient Tomb. Let's get Talisman down. And then let's go for pers uh, Persistent Specimen. And so at this point right now, unfortunately with Divine Visitation, they're going to have three, four, four angels they're going to be able to go for. And uh, that's kind of a bummer, man. <laughs> okay, so how do we want to... Yeah, because either way, they're going to be able to get the angel tokens down if we swing in. So let's just do this. Let's just pass the turn. And then see what they end up getting. Because if they go for the 3 4, four angels, that'll be a recast and then get their commander down. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Divine Visitation is definitely going to get that. So that's going to be a 4-4 four, four angel token. Um, one thing that we will be looking for, for sure, is going to be uh, some sort of board wipe. We can hit the reset button. Um, the downside to Divine Visitation is that that's just going to stick out there. We need to find some sort of way to deal with that uh, that permanent. And that's going to be one more angel token. Okay. There we go. Um, so we'll let them go through this turn. They've got at least 12. And then they dump Kessig, and that'll make it uh, 17 total if they wanted to go for that. So that's a pretty hefty swing, to be perfectly honest. Um, that's two swings. Um, depending on what they do this turn, we might end up going for the Suju activation to sacrifice, just to kind of dig a little bit deeper into our library. So we'll kind of see what's going on with that. Um, unfortunately, a lot of the big stuff, um, like Mycosynth Golem, that, that's kind of what we're tutoring up to put on top of our library, uh, unfortunately. So uh, that's going to be Tindershoot Dryad. Oh no, that's more Angel Tokens. And uh, let's go to the end step. Yeah, we need to get some, uh, we need to get a board wipe going on this. So let's go and crack wooded foothills. Let's go and find ourselves a smoldering marsh. Let's get near the battlefield tap. Yeah, that's fine. All right, so that comes down. Let's go for the Suju activation. Let's go and sacrifice a persistent specimen. We're going to get the scry and the scurry going for two. Let's put that on the bottom. Definitely put that on the bottom. Um, let's go for one more scry because at this point to be... Uh, yeah, we, we need some uh, we need some board wipe action. So let's go uh, tap down black, sacrifice noxious gear hold, get a scry and a torment of hellfire, which doesn't really do much. Let's put that on the bottom, and then I think what we end up doing is sacrificing Hisuju. Yeah, we need to do this. Uh, so let's pay that one black off of talisman. We'll sacrifice Hisuju. Yes, definitely use that ability. And return it back to the command zone. And that's going to be... Ooh, there we go. All right, so we hit Demonic Tutor. Let's go and put that on top of our library. Um, we're still still in a pretty rough spot because that, um, that Divine Visitation is definitely going to make it really hard for us. Okay, so let's go for... Let's go Land Drop for the turn, Bloodstained Mire. Um, that's going to give us an addition... Ooh, excuse me. I should have done that uh, uh, after the board wipe, make the Land Drop. So let's go Demonic Tutor... And we're going to search up Damnation. And actually, Blasphemous Act, that's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And actually, Blasphemous Act is actually going to be a little bit better. So let's grab Blasphemous Act. Um, that's going to be a reduced cost, so that's going to be 3 total mana. So it's going to get rid of everybody. Um, so now we've got that down. Let's go ahead. Well, we can crack Flooded uh, Bloodstained Mire to grab another zombie. 
But let's just pass the turn right now. Yeah, so we'll get that extra zombie. We can try to set up for next turn. But, uh, yeah, that Divine Visitation, that's going to be pretty rough. So we'll see what we can do about this. But uh, we got off to a pretty good start as far as what we're trying to do as far as, you know, being able to set up Hisuju and then set up some of the stuff out of the graveyard as far as, you know, putting this on top. Because now we're at the point now, you know, not having that line of play where we had to sacrifice our creatures and scry to find some sort of board wipe. Um, you know, we do have a way to put a, a creature on top of our library, and this is going to be Bloodstain. Uh oh. I think that's going to be an angel token. That's whenever it attacks. Okay. All right. So our opponent opts to go for Krinko, um, which actually does give us a little bit of extra time, which actually I'm okay with. Uh, but yeah, you can kind of see what we're going for. You know, we have a lot of stuff in the graveyard. There's a couple lands that we can put with Mortuary Mire. We can be able to put Combustible Gear Hulk. Uh, on top, and that really just kind of helps you uh, feel Hasuju for those damage turns or just get some sort of threat down. So let's go and crack Bloodstained Mire. Um, it's going to drop us down to 14. Um, we can put a creature card on top right now. That'll be Combustible Gear Hulk. That'll be a little bit of extra damage. Um, I think I'm okay with that. That's going to give us just straight gas on that. Yeah, so let's just go uh, Witch's Cottage. And it's going to be Field of the Dead Trigger. And let's go ahead and put Combustible Gear... Well, I guess if we want to, we can go Murderous Rider. And actually, I like that a little bit better. It gives us a little bit of extra time. Or we can actually Noxious Gear Hulk to go for some life gain. Let's do that. Let's put Noxious Gear Hulk back on top of our library. Yes, we definitely want to use that ability. And it's going to give us an extra zombie token. Uh, go to our draw step, draw into Noxious Gear Hulk. Let's drop in Noxious Gear Hulk. Not the best life gain, but um, at this point, we'll take it. Uh, so we tap down Field of the Dead... There we go. So get down Noxious Gear Hulk. Let's go and pop Krinko. Because um, if they end up going for Marath next turn, that's definitely not going to be good for us. But that's probably what they're going to end up doing. Um, let's make the land drop. Do we want to put something else on top? Let's see in just a second. So let's go and push in for two. And that's going to knock them down to 28. There we go. And let's drop in Mortuary Mire. Let's get an affinity cost. So that's going to be only four total mana. And this is going to be eight total mana. So if we end up going for Slag Strider, that'll be us tapping down a little bit. That'll give us a 3 3 creature, which I'm just not super wild about. Yeah, let's drop in Mortuary Mire, because I feel at this point, we just having some sort of spot removal is going to be a little bit better than what we got moving on. I mean, we could try to. Well, actually, Worm Coil Engine would be good, but they're going to have those 4 4 Flying Angel tokens. And then Murderous Rider. On Marath, and they just dump angel tokens onto the battlefield. Yeah, I guess if we're putting a creature on top, we just end up going for Yeah, Worm Coil Engine. I like that. Maybe we get it in the spots where we can get some lifelink off of that somehow. So we'll go and put a Worm Coil Engine on top. There's another a uh, zombie token. And then uh, anything else. Uh, we're gonna go and pass the turn over to our opponent. We could pay that three damage for Slag Strider, but um, with them sitting at 28 and us taking that two damage, uh, maybe we can set it up to uh to work out to our advantage. Let's see if our opponent is... And maybe they just forgot about their commander for <laughs> for a second. They just passed the turn. Um, so I don't know what that was about, but we'll take it. So let's go and push in really quick. Um, yeah, I don't know why they didn't tap out for Marath. Maybe they're worried about spot removal or something like that. But I feel like they'd still be able to get some good angel tokens down with Marath. So um, we'll go to our combat step. Yeah, I'm not sure what that pass was, so we'll see here in a second. Might have just been a misplay. So let's go and swing in, and it's going to be 9. Put them down to 21. And then we'll go to our main phase. Let's go and drop in a Worm Coil Engine. And then Synth is going to cost 7. Slag Strider is going to be 3. Yeah, we can actually drop in Slag Strider. So let's drop in Slag Strider. And we're buffing our affinity count, so we'll be able to get down uh, Micro Synth Golem for next turn. So um, anything else, we're going to go and pass the turn to our opponent. Uh, but yeah. This is it with Hisuju. Um, getting some good affinity out there. And, you know, unfortunately... Uh-oh. <laughs> okay, there we go. So it's March of the Multitudes. So our opponent had an answer. Okay. Um, that, that's pretty cool. I, I like seeing that. So if you didn't see that, March of the Multitudes, uh, tap and uh, create X11 white soldier creature tokens with live links. So they're going to get it on that one. So good game to our opponent. Um, you can see how good uh, Divine Visitation is in a uh, any sort of token deck. It's... Uh, it's pretty gnarly, but at least we got to get some of our good stuff out there and kind of showcase what the deck is trying to do. Uh, but we will take the angel tokens. <laughs> it's going to put us down to negative eight. So um, good game to our opponent. Um, you can see um, 
you know, there's a lot of ways we can put cards on top of our library. Let's say that we have uh, the Synth Golem in our graveyard. We put it on top. We go for a Hisuji activation, deal 11, swing him with Noxious Gear Hole, Combustible Gear Hole, whatever that is, uh, getting the affinity done. But, uh, but our poet got it on that one. The angels got it. So anyways, if you enjoyed the video, hey, like and subscribe. Thanks. Bye.